Hey guys, Lewis here, aka Mail Adrian Gang. Welcome back to another Sim City episode in our city of Exmouth, which is our processor and money building city. Um, the reason it's our money building city is because of our processors we make. We make a load of processors in the city and sell it off for big bucks. But, but, we're also losing a lot of money per hour. We're losing 11k per hour. We left off in the last episode losing money because we added a load of extensions and extra little buildings that might help it out. Um, these buildings were such as the airport right here. And what else do we add? We added the little helicopter pads on top of these fire stations. Yep. That's pretty good. That sorted out the fire issue, I think, because now we're only having one building being burnt down a day, compared in the last episode where we had like ten burnt down a day. Um, also, with police, I think that's starting to like go down a little bit. Not that great still, 38, but it was better than last time where it was like at 61 or something. Um, oh, mass transport. Oh, apparently our plane cargo pit is full um i don't know how they empty that really i think they just fly away but that should sort itself out and its average weight is actually a lot 194 minutes i don't know how i could fix that really but ah well not my problem i can't do anything about that really so what are we going to be focusing on in this episode you may be asking well everything Sewage is being a bit of an issue, as you can see, packed up pipes. Um, it's in the yellow, so it's okay still. Waste is still being a pain. So we obviously have to either get summon a beast to eat it all. I think it might eat it. Or just just destroy it, really. It's, I don't know which one I should do. The beast is quite fun, but it destroys buildings. But we do have the little insurance building down called the progressive office so oh wait no we don't oh yeah because we had to move it didn't we we should probably place this back down so let's place this down near this end then um oh i don't want to destroy too big of a buildings um because we have a we have a really big population even though we replaced the whole area down the middle with an airplane um we're going to get rid of this, I think, because, I don't know, we, no, no, we want to keep that, we placed that only last time, um, hmm, let's place it at the end there, maybe, no, I, I don't know where to place things because of the fact that it could be destroying something that could be making me a lot of money, oh, right there, I think, yeah, right there would do. Right next to university. So that makes people a bit happier. Um, we also need to replace down the mayor's house. Because we got rid of it and now we need it back up. So we can place that back over here maybe. These guys are a bit unhappy. So let's place it right behind the university. Right there. That makes some people happy I think. And then... Garbage is still being an issue. Hmm. Well, there's one thing we can do about money as well. We can always cause a lot of trouble. We unlocked a new disaster at the end of the last episode, which you guys didn't get to see because it happened as soon as I stopped recording. Because we had 20 people flying in a day, we got the meteor strike. Um, it, it's pretty big really it causes a lot of fires and it causes some radiation so I don't think I want to use it in this area let's be honest because it might do a lot of damage and it could set me back a lot so we'll have to go to our disaster town in another episode when we have a bit more and we can just do all the disasters out there again and yeah that'd be fun I think so let's have a look at what we should do what's our problems with money at the moment um, not making a lot of money on the city specialization anymore. That is more or less the 
whole tourist area and the casinos. We need to try and get them to go back up. But we need to sort out taxes. Because I think people are getting angry about taxes. And what's our approval rating? It's 80 at the moment. Too much crime. Taxes are too high, apparently, according to the commercial. But what about industrial? Taxes are too high. Okay. So high tech wants taxes lower. So we will do that for them. We'll put that on 10. And that should be okay. Think that should be okay. Um, let's see how much m we're ma money we're making pro from processors. Two hundred and ninety-three thousand. Wow. No wonder we got so much money, guys. We're always going to be making a bit of money. Um, have we done the processor factory? Oh yes, we have. Electronics HQ. We can place it down. Perfect. Um, let's upgrade it. Apparently. Oh, apparently I already had one. I didn't realise I had one. Um, but yeah, we upgraded it now. Let's go on edit. Let's add. We want the consumer electronic division because we want to put processors to practical use. The consumer electronics division wants you to process in consumers' homes and inside of televisions and computers. So we want that. We really do need that. So we're going to place that. Um, that's quite a nice big building there, but it's been moaning a bit about how crappy the land is around it so if we get rid of it there we can then get over it done with and we got a goal done we earned a thousand from that we spent five hundred thousand and we earned a thousand back but yeah great so how do we make TVs that is what I want to know how you do now so do I go on here um TVs. How do you make TVs? I have no idea. Is it on here? Oh, consumer electronics factory. Okay. So this makes TVs and maybe computers. So if we place one of these down, these need processors. So it's good that we keep our processor factories in for the time being. And we're going to place this down near this end I think even though it's going to some of these big shop buildings not a lot of people complain about the shops um, which is good um, so we'll move it up so we can place down some stuff so I think around there no we'll move up to about there we'll place it right there so now this is something on highly different scale. Um, we want a computer assembly line. What does this use? This uses Sims around the world are desperate to play my Sim City. Wow. Use process an alloy to create computers to sell to the global market via trade ports. You can import alloy or processes from the global market. Okay, so it's pretty easy to make. So we're gonna add one right there. Add one right there. We can make TVs if we wanted to. But we really just want computers. So, oh, which building looks better? I think if we get rid of these ones over here, it would make a lot more sense. And then we get to keep more. Um, and we'll place down these here. This will put our money up to 20k, which is quite a bit. But it's okay. Um, place down this last one. Where should we place it? What even is this? I don't even know. Delivery truck garage. Okay, place that one there. Um, so yeah, that's that maxed out. We'll put a sign because we're pretty proud of this. This is kind of an achievement, really. Um, our sign has to be down next to a building. Great. Um, we'll place it right there. Sure. Wrong end of the town, but okay. So what does this need? This needs certain things so we go on local deliveries yes we want local deliveries no active modules okay so now process is going to be taken to here I think maybe I think um let's see if I need to select it on 
I need to go to the trade ports now. Yeah, that's what I need to do. Just making sure I get this sorted in my head as well. As well as in the video. Um, trade port. And we want to go on manage. We want to use locally. Okay. Now it's going to be used locally. We're going to go here. Manage. This is just important stuff, so we don't need to worry about that one. Um, oh, there's one over here. This is just bringing in oil. Why is it bringing in oil? Why do we need oil? I'm slightly confused about that. Um, why do we need oil? We don't have a plastics thing here. Um, I don't know why we need oil. Apparently we need oil. I don't know. I don't even know. Oh, look, some trade ships coming in. And let's see if we're making any computers. Are we going to make any? No processors. Production stopped. Ooh. So, then you send the processors there, which will be soon, hopefully. Um, probably need four processors, one lot of plastic, and three alloys. So, one of these have something. Most of them have plastics, which is good. Um, oh, we've got some. Right, let's see if it starts making them. It's going to make computers. How much are computers worth as well? I think the computers are worth quite a bit. But this means we are actually getting somewhere with our little station, space station, great work project. Awesome. Now we have our computers up and running. That's good, that's good. But we're not going to be making a lot of money now because of that. So what we need to do is we need to make sure we cut down budgets. Got to do some budget cuts. So, we're going to go on here. This is costing us a lot. What about these? It's got one building being burnt down a day. We should probably get rid of a couple of these. Get rid of one. We can get rid of another. Yeah, go on then. So, it only needs one helicopter pad. Same really for the police. I thought I, I went over the top and carried away in the last episode when I built them. Because I thought, oh... It'd be amazing to see helicopters flying around. But I don't really see many helicopters either flying around, so um yeah, pretty pointless. Um let's get rid of some of these helicopters. We want to click on it first and go on edit. And these ones cost seven and oh they're not so bad, so we can probably just cut down one and then the rest will be fine. There's only ten crimes commit per day now, so that's good. Right, everyone's protesting right here. Oh, moving pictures. Assemble 100 crates of TVs in one day. Wait, I'm not making TVs. Why am I making TVs? I better not be making TVs. Unless in the main area you make TVs. That could be the whole situation. Yeah, I think think in one area, in that little area there you make TVs and then over here you make computers so hmm, we gotta make both so maybe we should sell off this crude oil because I don't know why we're getting crude oil for um, let's go manage we want to, it's importing it, let's export it right get rid of it and as soon as that's gone, we can add some little extra things. We can add a TV one here and sell the TVs from a little bit of a profit, maybe. Um, but yeah, I saw we had a lot of buildings to bulldoze. I don't know why. Let's see why that is. Um, this one is caused by building fire. Well, it shouldn't be that many building fires anymore. What about this one? Building fire again. See, the helicopters ain't doing much. Another building fire. Well, this one, too much crime. Well, crime's getting sorted out a bit better now. So, I think maybe we can upgrade this. No, no, we can't. 
needs a approval rating of 85. Wow. What is that at the moment? 81. Industrial tech's going up. Everything's going up now, I think. Residential happiness is good. They're all scared about crime and everything, but they're okay. They're okay. So hopefully we're lo we're still losing our money. How can we sort the money out? What else can we get out of the way? Right. Um, transportation. No education. We kind of still using that. Health. Well, we're actually not spending that much on health. Surprisingly, is a lot of people dying? Wow, well, surprisingly, not a lot of people are dying. So that's pretty good, really. That's that's really not that much on health. 2,900, that's really not that much. Fire, spending a lot on. Government, nah, wa waste, sewage. Water power is not that high, really. So it's more around transportation, education, and police. Police is spending a lot of money. And then city specialization, it's making me a little bit of money, but it's not the best. Hmm. God, that helicopter noise is really, really loud. But look, we got 162,000 people. That's great, I think. Um, so, has it got rid of this oil? If it hasn't, then I'm going to be pretty disappointed. Sell the oil. Do it. But what happens if I bulldoze this one? Hmm. Ah, but it's oil. Let's get rid of it. I don't want it. I really don't need it. Um, and we can put down a... TV storage lot. I can go there. What, what are these? Plastics. We need plastics. We really do need plastics. Um, let's manage. How much can we sell TVs for? TVs for 129. Ooh, that's good. That's good. So let's export every thousand. Okay, so that should get some money coming in. How about this one over here, what's this important? Fright. We can't get rid of the fright now. If we have one with fright. Because we don't really use fright anymore. This one. Um, so if we want to edit. We can get rid of the fright. And hopefully add. The computer storage lot here. So this is fright. Let's add that one. Right there, and hopefully, that means we can manage it and then use locally. Yep, perfect. So, hopefully, that would be great, and hopefully, our money will start rising a little bit soon. If not, then we'll have to get a bit more of a casino type city as well. Because we do have a lot of people here, surprisingly, and a lot of main kind of buildings down. I know it's not over a million people, but I doubt I'd ever get over a million people. But look, this is on 44%, so we're getting somewhere on this series, I think. Let's see, quickly check the great works, and I'll call that an episode. So far, there's no computers, but it's got 200 tons of alloy, um, 62k of fuel. I'll, what I just have to do is, offline, I'll just have to keep it on, keep it running, and just send over as much as I can offline. That's pretty much what I've got to do. Um, so I'll do that at some point. But anyway guys, I'm going to call this an episode. So obviously if you like this episode, leave it a like, favourite and share. Um, follow me on Twitch, Tumblr and Twitter, links in the description below. And be sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, I really appreciate if you do any of that. Any support shown is very, very, I'm very grateful for. Um, and yeah. Say hi in the comment section if you want. Be awesome. Give me some tips as well. That that would probably help. Because, yeah, I'm not the best at this game, as you guys probably can tell. But, hopefully I put my own little twist on things and make it a little bit of entertaining for you guys. So, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day, night, evening, whatever time it is, wherever you live.